Kathy for Solid Rock Machine Shop. And I'm Rachel. In this video, there will be no machining, so if that's what you're looking for, come back next time. We'll hopefully have something for you. Um, for this video, we're just going to give a short little discussion on Mr. Pete's meet and greet that we had in Illinois, and then talk about our upcoming event. Yeah, um, I'd like to thank Mr. Pete for hosting the event. It was tons of fun. Um, it was nice to see how his family were all just like very helpful, making sure everything went nice and smoothly, even like some friends of theirs too, was just like helping out. It was uh, really, really fun. <laughs> Uh, we didn't get as much footage as we would have liked. Adam does the majority of the filming for our channel. Rachel and I were very poor substitutes. <laughs> so please don't get upset. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, on our way down, uh, Adam was driving, but then we had to switch drivers, and he gets car sick in smaller cars when he's not driving. So before we made it to Mr. Pete's, he got car sick, had a migraine, and had to spend the majority of the event in the car just trying to recover because our mm -hmm. family you know we get really sick when we have migraines so um so we'll just have a little footage and some still pictures i think um the event was great we had a, a huge crowd more than mr pete had been expecting, expecting. yeah <laughs> i think there was close to 250 people so i said some people hadn't even registered so they didn't have an accurate final count uh -huh. um so we had brian block was there um Dan Dobbs from House of Broken Dobbs Things. We're still waiting on him to come get a burrito and tour the shop. There was Randy Richard from Randy Uncle Richard Randy. In the shop. <laughs> yes, Uncle Randy. Um, there was Pierre and Phil, the other two thirds of the monkeys, from Phil's Projects and Pierre's Garage. We met William and Katie. William was really excited to be there. So we were glad that he was able to drive down, and thank you, Katie, for bringing him, because that really made his day. Um, who else did we meet? Ryan. Ryan, yes, and I'm, again, not going to say your last <laughs> name, because I'm not going to be able to say it right, but yeah, we met Ryan there. That was pretty cool, because I didn't realize right away who he was, and we had actually been emailing back and forth because he had purchased boring bars from us, so that was really neat. Um, these events just get better and better for us because, you know, our first event, I think we were really nervous not knowing yeah. what to expect. And then the next event, you know, you get to see more familiar faces at each event you go to. So it's really nice to get to um, know the people more as we go to more events. And that's one of the things that our dad really enjoys about the events is getting to meet all the viewers and subscribers and the people that we've been talking through just through um, YouTube comments and email. So that's a lot of fun. So thank you to Mr. Pete and his family and to everybody that came out. It was a lot of fun. Yes, thank you for making it a very enjoyable experience. <laughs> and for our next event, we will be heading down to Lindell, Texas. Um, November 17th, there will be an event hosted by The Good of the Land and I believe uh, working with Visit Lindell. So all the proceeds from the event will go to help pay for the restoration of the museum. Um, we are going to be there. I think Abom 79 will be there. Um, Stan Zinkowski from Barzy Industrial. Jim Bollinger from Do Right Fabrication. Uh, Randy Richard is going to try to be there, but he's really busy, so <laughs> he's not sure if he can make it yet. Um, there's going to be a huge crowd of YouTube creators and viewers. There's more than I can even name. So if you're able to make it, we would love to see you there. But yeah, that would be November 17th. We'll put a link in the description down to Justin's video where he's announcing the event. And he'll have more information for you guys there. So you can check it out there.
people hear me? Yeah. yeah? yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you for coming. I'm uh, overwhelmed with the turnout. I was expecting uh, 30 or less. <laughs> and, uh, I myself wouldn't come across the street to see me. So it's, <laughs> some of you came from. Uh, well, we're going to talk about that in a second here. Uh, listen, let me make the introductions, and I don't know where the other red, red shirt people are, but around the way. Uh, thanks to Jeanette, my wife of 50 years, for supporting me and, and being tolerant. Daughter, smile. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to you for setting this up and being a wonderful daughter. My oldest son, uh, Eric, who lived in North Aurora, his wife couldn't be here. She's battling cancer, and so we've had uh, that problem in the family. But I know everybody's got a problem. In the family. Blessings to you. Thank you. So pray for uh, Heather and, uh, and thank you, Lord, for good weather. And uh, Eric works for Chamberlain, who makes uh, garage door openers and lift master and Sierra Craftsman and all of that. Yep. And has for about 20 years. In 20 years next year. Brother in law Phil here is the official photographer. And uh, there's a uh, Grandson Jordan. We used to call him Tubal Cane Jr. for a short turnaround. But now, uh, standing next to him, I'm the Tubal Cane. <laughs> and, and, oh, there they are. And here's uh, Andrew and Henry. And here's Sophia, 16 years old, and she is so embarrassed when I come around. <laughs> you, know, Jen, you are Ed. so embarrassing. <laughs> I know I'll get the rest tonight. All right, we've got tons of door prizes, but the first thing I wanted to do was, uh, can people hear me back there or not? Uh, I'm going to have uh, Palmer here do the uh, announcements, but... Uh, Okay, YouTube creators. We got Harold uh, here from Texas, uh, and your channel is Redneck Amateur Redneck Workshop. Amateur Redneck uh, Workshop. A lot of you probably have watched him. Uh, continue to. He's a good guy. And uh, we got. All right, Randy. And what's the name of your digger up? Digger up? Digger up. Short kind of abbreviated for digger operator. All right. Okay. So watch his. And we got. Uh, where your partner? I don't know. Not much the there, but. Where's the other one? <laughs> hey, Mike Gage. Where's Pierre? Pierre. He's here. Over Come here. Come here. over here. Come here. Come here. Come here. I'm trying to do some filming. Oh. Come here, Mike Yeah. Oh, I still don't see him. <laughs> Oh, oh, geez. Right, right, right. <laughs> I'm out quick, I'll give you a banana. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> These guys are French Canadians. They're an absolute riot. They both got channels. Uh, Pierre's Garage. And Phil, what do you call your Phil's Project. Project. Phil's Project. So watch them. Who did it miss? Randy, 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 You know, like Kentucky corn is nothing like our Illinois corn. You know, it doesn't grow any higher than that. It makes good whiskey, they tell me down there. And he, he's not a watchmaker. Everything he does is large, if you watch his channel. Who else did I miss that's a creative? Oh, Sheepers. He's staying with me. <laughs> Randy Richards in the shop from California. You've got to watch his videos. Hey, have a 
just a, a nice person. That, okay, we got Steve Barton. Oh, yes, yeah. From yeah, uh, what's the name of your channel? The Solid Rock Machine Shop. Solid Rock Machine Shop. He's got a whole family there. Yep. Yeah. 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 Two of them are gone right now. They had to get some. Uh, Adam got a little sick over here, so they went to get him some headache and, medicine. And he, yeah, it's a family affair. They make boring bar. They sent several excellent uh, boring bars to me, which you'll see in, in video. So uh, keep watching. Who did I miss? Anybody? Dennis Nolan. Dennis Nolan. Dennis Nolan. All right. Dennis. <laughs> Wonderful man. You, you got videos too? Yes. yes. Oh, yeah. And the channel. Cutting tool designer. Hold up one of those Niagara cutters here. Dennis Nolan and this, this company, uh, and I hope this isn't too commercial, but we've got a great sponsor, but uh, Niagara cutters, he, he has given to many of the creators. And these are solid carbide, and they, they're just top of the line uh, quality. And he was the whole week in Chicago at McCormick Place, and he swung by here after the, the big event. And, it's just a wonderful guy, what he's done for me and the other creator. We just really appreciate what you've done for, for you. Well, you all deserve it. Yeah. All right, who did I miss? Right here. Joe. Joe. From Melbourne, from New York. New York. All right. Uh, what's the name of your channel? Well, welcome to the Machine Shop. Louder. Well, welcome to the Machine Shop. Uh, welcome to the Machine Shop. Thanks. Yeah, it's just a hobby shop. Get everybody. But before I go on, these two guys, French Canadians, from Montreal. Yep. I want you, first of all, say something in French. Say welcome to the people of, uh, in French. <laughs> Do it again. Bienvenue tout le monde. Nous sommes très, très heureux d'être ici. Nous sommes très heureux d'avoir rencontré uh, You do, and you have to clean it up. <laughs> He's got an inspiration for us since the beginning. He's got to be a big inspiration for all of us. Everybody. Not just for two of us, but for all of us. Everybody who's here is here the cause of it. Sorry about that. Sorry about it, we're going to blame you. Sometimes they wear these monkey shirts and the monkey boots and they brought bananas there. You see that? It's like the two stooges when, when the other guy was here. And of course the first thing that, that, that Phil did when Randy showed up, he went and sniffed his armpits. Oh, no, no, no. Was, that, was, that, was that you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, he sniffed his armpits. The old well, monkey. The well, old monkey. Randy smells good because he stayed overnight with me. But Randy uh, darn near had his house burned down in California. How, how close did that fire come? Corbin. Quarter mile away. 15 minutes. And, and so the joke was that he still smelled like smoke, but so it wasn't real. So I had to, that went over my head. Most of them. I didn't know that happened. <laughs> now, uh, that was the car farm. You all know Adam Booth. Ferguson. Hey, Bob. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I kept hearing about So I, I just talked to Adam yesterday. Yeah. And I One said, car uh, that I realized how this Can you leave a message, you know, for the group? Well, he misunderstood. He was going to make a video. Well, I couldn't show you a video anyway. And I said, just give me a couple sentences. And he said, uh, and here it is. This just came in this morning. Hello, Mr. Pete. Hope you have a blast at your meet and greet. You have some wonderful viewers and enjoy your work. And I. I know we're very excited to meet you and the other guys uh, who come out. I really wish I could have come, come up to join you in fellowship, but I could not make that happen. Have a great time and tell everyone, A-Bomb says, hello from Pensacola. <laughs> and I, I've met him several times, some of you have, and it's just, what, what a man with charisma, and that is why he gets so many views, and, and uh, as well as the talent. Craig Heath, where are you at? Craig. Right here. Yeah. Yeah. All right, Craig Heath with his hand up there. He runs and operates the Bushnell Power Plant. I did a video of that one time. Yeah. Yeah. Right next door is the Bushnell, uh, Lawn and Bushnell Hammer Company. We got about six hammers here, but he brought this one to me just this morning to scribe with Mr. Peace. So. And that's a 24 ounce uh, ball peen made in America. And I've been through the plant, but it's 
Well, it's only one step above hell being in that court, I tell you. <laughs> is, uh, is, uh, Clyde, you back there? Hey, where's Sally? Right here. Sally grew up very close to this factory, and she could hear the pounding of the forges at night. And when I drove by, I felt that, even though the foundations go 30 feet down. So, we got some of those. Those are great people down there. And we, we had, uh, give me the, I know, I know, but we got donations here by uh, High Impact, those are the books, uh, KBC Tools, Char's Tools, Lawn and Bushnell Hammers, Banggood, I don't say anything. <laughs> Edge Technology has been real good, and of course SQL Tools, that's the same as uh, Niagara. Randy Richards has a few things, uh, Mike Nixon has a few things here, and uh, uh, Harold does, uh, Redneck right here. Did I include everybody? Not for you, Bob. Oh, it's Tommy. <laughs> oh, Tommy, Tommy. And that is the legendary Tommy, owner of Smokey, who, on the cue of seeing me walk around with a camera, turns his lawnmower on. <laughs> more. <laughs> but a great guy, you know, every time he go, we go fishing, or he goes fishing without me, the fish, he, he caught ten of them like this, you know. When I go with him, we get one or two like that. So. I'm mean, a stretch the story, but he's a riot and a great neighbor, and, I, and he's 80 years old, and he acts like a teenager. <laughs>